I'm hiking in the Mohonk Preserve in New Paltz, New York today. I follow someone on Instagram who hikes in this area. It kind of inspired me to check out the trails out here and this preserve seemed interesting. The website mohonkpreserve.org is a great resource to check out before you visit and provides directions to its four trailheads. I hiked from the visitor center, which provided access to the southern section of the preserve. I'm told that this is a very popular destination for rock climbers. And I could tell by their equipment there were quite a few in the parking lot and I can hear a ton. There's one guy right up there. The impressive ridge of bedrock is a section of the Shawagunk Mountain Ridge, more commonly referred to as the Gunks. It has a history of being a popular destination for rock climbers, which was very evident along Undercliff Road. I continued on Undercliff Road, over the Traps Bridge, to the Millbrook Ridge Trail. My goal was to reach the Millbrook Mountain Trail intersection before turning back, which I estimated to be a round trip distance of about eight miles. I would use the two other intersecting trails along the route as distance markers during my hike. It wasn't shortly after I turned onto the Millbrook Ridge Trail that the landscape opened to an amazing view. I mean, I'm just looking over here already, and wow, that's just pretty amazing. I don't even feel like I've gone up in elevation that much, but it's already an amazing lookout. This is one of those trails where the blazes are on, painted on the rocks. So I don't know how easy this would be to navigate once snow hits. You definitely need footwear that's going to grip to rocks when you're hiking here. And honestly, I didn't really give that any thought. I just, I wore my hikers today rather than my trail runners. And they're comfortable. They're my murals. They're very comfortable. So I'm not regretting my foot choice, but my La Sportivas probably would have been a better grip on these rocks. It seemed like only minutes had passed before I reached the first intersection at Bayard's Path. Wow, oh, here's another lookout point. Wow! I did not expect to see this much foliage, but there's still some pretty good color. Wow, it turned out to be a great day. Great day. After a stretch of cloudy weather, I welcome the sun. I hiked in silence, absorbing every bit of its brightness and warmth. Before I knew it, I had already reached the Millbrook Cross Trail, and the landscape got my attention. So I know mountain laurel, mountain laurel is Connecticut state flower, but I am walking through a field of it here in New York. This is a unique mix of moss. This stuff here that's green I've seen before it's it's pretty common among the trails but the stuff that's growing near it that's this mossy shade of green and look at you can see the the one lonely mushroom that's that's growing up in there um, but this is this is a moss that I'm not used to seeing at least not in this density so it caught my eye because that color especially you don't see a lot of this tree's root system shows that it has been determined to stay planted right where it is. I love when I see trees like that. It's just such a, it's a symbol of standing your ground, right? This tree is solid, it's not going anywhere. I don't know what's on the other side of that ledge and having a fear of heights and all, I'm being very cautious can you hear my breathing already? Oh my god. It's more of a fear of high ledges than it is of heights. I can do heights, but when I approach a high ledge, I experience an intense feeling of resistance to go closer. So I had to drum up some courage to look over the edge. It does, it does really drop off right there. <laughs> but I want to look over. So as long as I can keep my body on the ground. Wow. You can see a lot of rubble down there, stuff that's taking a tumble. Whew. Wow, that makes my heart pump. 
I had a quick snack before realizing I had already been on the trail for nearly two hours, but I was still eager to reach the final intersection, so I proceeded up the trail a few hundred feet. Even though I had to have been close, I never did reach it, but I did catch another view of the landscape before making the hard decision to turn back. When I set out with a goal, I kind of don't like to come shy of that, so it pains me to turn around, but it's the responsible thing to do. I could have stayed on the trail all day, and being flexible to accommodate circumstance is a quality I'm still working on, but I quickly got over it. Besides, I had a lot to be thankful for that day, like making it off the trail without getting lost. Okay, how do I know what trail? I'm feeling lost again. I think I want to go up this way. I think I want to go up this way. I kind of lost my... Oh, here's a blue marker. Hmm. Yeah, this way. Got a little confused right here for a minute, but... This is the way they want to go because I see a blaze there. Just double checking myself, nothing wrong with that. 